So the four-year wait is finally over. Day one of the grandest event in world football. And a grand welcome to you as you join us for our live coverage of what we hope will be a game that sets it off in style. Just have a look at it, feel it. This really is the best of the beautiful game. Emotion at fever pitch and the players are ready. We have terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio Dodrigal, one of the biggest venues in Portugal. And we rise now for the English national anthem. Well, that has got the juices flowing, and now this. So a strong start, essential for both teams here as they look to head towards the knockout stage. Yeah, and it's obvious, Peter, you don't want to be playing catch-up after the open group game. So we can expect this to be highly competitive. Three points here and the feel-good factor of eventual progression kicks in. It's a, a great foundation to tackle the rest of the, uh, the group games. So off we go then. Simeone. Walter. Forward it goes. Cuts it out. And it's played forward. That's the throw. Beckham, Scholes, Beckham, out to the left it goes. Could be a chance here. Oh, he's caught him in or out. Argentina present their opponents with the best possible chance here. A lot of furious gesticulation, but it is never going to make the referee overturn a decision. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? just never going to miss well look at the keeper's reaction Peter he felt he could have kept it out that was so tight
So, a breakthrough already. Simeone. He's left his man. Plays it out to the wing. That's great strength on the ball. Oh, great one! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, I think the players will be buoyed by the fact that they've managed to level things in a hurry. Tails most definitely up now. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. It's come. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. England get themselves into the lead. Ortega. Baron. So midway through the first half, and it is a tight old tie. It's gone for a throw in. Baron. Simeone. It's a loose ball. Argentina can't seem to retain possession. Owen. Over to the left. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Nice to get it forward quickly. Baron. Crespo. Hoists it forward. Owen. Nicely controlled. Time to deliver. Up to meet it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. They've played it short. 
Looks to set one up. And that's been levered clear. And it's played forward. Now the counter. That's an out wide now. And out to safety. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Ayala tries to get it forward quickly. Battles to win it back. Forward it goes. Gets away from his opponents. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Hoists it forward, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Baron. Simeon. Ortega. Diego Souza, Ortega, Crespo, Ortega, defending of the desperate variety. Owen, out to the left it goes. That's a good ball to find him. Looks to clip it forward. And the half-time whistle goes. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, we've had plenty to go at in that first half, Peter, and it's a, a fragile lead that could quite easily change hands in, in the second. Uh, if you like your football unpredictable, I think you're at the right match. And we are already promptly back on the way. Argentina need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. It's been taken short. There are a few waiting for it. Lovely bit of skill there. That'll be a throw. shots well that is rather wayward yeah on another occasion all that went wrong may come right skulls tries to get it forward quickly Beckham Ashley Cole. Owen! Oh, oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Owen. Certainly tested the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Well, 
played it short. Across the line, and it's a throw. It's it into the middle. And that's been leave it clear. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. The run. Walter played in with accuracy. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Scholes. Beckham. Ashley Cole. Beckham. Beckham. That has sent him sprawling. He's been taken down, and the referee has pointed at the spot. And that really is the last thing they wanted to do. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. with certainty. Well, he took a chance, hoping that the goalkeeper would dive, and that's exactly what he did. England take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Well, that goal should be a big game-changer. It's certainly been a big mood-changer. Attempts to play it through. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. That is terrific skill. Plenty waiting in the middle. That intervention was very necessary. Owen. Just brushed off the ball there. Has a pop! They are rampant! And the lead is extended still further. That was a given. It always was. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't need them. They paid the price and deserved it. England blast themselves into a three-goal lead. 
Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. And the shot! He scored! No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had it where they wanted, yet somehow it's worth the scoring position when it didn't seem on. It's really crafty business now. So, just a consolation, or is there a way back from here? Ashley Cole. Beckham. Scholes. Beckham. Just five minutes remaining now. Simeone. Forward it goes. Beckham. Scholes. Court shows there will be three extra minutes. Veron looks to bypass the midfield. Scholes. Ferdinand. And that will be the final act. Argentina have had their life made a little tougher. Defeat first up only adds to the pressure to win from now on in. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Listen, sometimes going into chase mode can bring out the best in teams, and we're about to discover if this one has the substance needed to prevail. If they have it, the only way is up.